They say it's a small world. But is it? Could it be smaller, say half the size? How would we cope on a mini Earth? Well, let's try it out. One of the first things you'd notice in a half-sized world is a change in the gravity. As gravity is proportional to the width of a planet, in a half-sized world you'd experience half the gravity. Impressive, but it's not all fun and games. Half gravity means half the air pressure. There is now less oxygen in every breath. Within a few hours, humanity would be suffering from oxygen deficiency, otherwise known as altitude sickness. But don't give up yet. Humans would be able to adapt to this thinner air. After a few days, we'd develop extra red blood cells to compensate for the lack of oxygen. We'd recover just in time to notice the next consequence of a smaller Earth. The Earth has a magnetic field which protects us from solar radiation, which it funnels to the poles. That's why you get aurora in the polar regions. It's the radiation interfering with our atmosphere. But with a smaller Earth, the magnetic field becomes weaker and goes a bit weird. New magnetic poles appearing at the equator. The result? We'd have these polar light shows appearing all over the world. Which is fantastic, except... This solar activity also plays havoc with our electrical networks, which would make large-scale blackouts something we'd have to get used to. And that's not the worst of it, not at all. More radiation getting through to our atmosphere, combined with weaker gravity, means the atmosphere will soon lose most of its oxygen. So it's goodbye to us. Eventually, the Earth and its atmosphere would end up far more Martian, it's the curse of smaller planets. They're just not cut out for sustaining life. Best we put it back to how it was. Our small world is quite small enough. <laughs>